I'm an anxious person. I have anxiety. I have had panic attacks, anxiety attacks. I don't know if there's a difference between the two, but I've had a lot of various reactions to anxiety. And I don't like having uh, anxiety attacks. I don't like having panic attacks. I don't know anyone who does. They don't feel good. They feel awful. So awful that they are able to cripple people cripple me and to also be very convincing to keep me from doing things that I may want to do in my life. And so I really wanted to kind of talk out how my relationship with my anxiety is looking like. And not just anxiety, because let's Let's be fair, a lot of times where there's depression, there's anxiety, and a lot of times where there's anxiety, there's depression. Each can coexist on its own, but oftentimes you're going to find that is not the case and that they are both doing a tag team number on anybody that's dealing with that. So I want to talk about anxiety. <laughs> I'm deeply uncomfortable with being anxious. Is my audio working? Yes. That screaming voice that's like, I'm not okay, I'm not okay, I'm not okay. Or the one that I particularly hear is like, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. It all feels the same because it's just basically my survival instincts kicking in as if there were a lion behind me and I'm trying to run away from a lion and instead I'm standing in front of this camera, creating videos and posting them online. It feels about the same as if a lion's bearing down on me. So... Um, yeah, I have a lot of anxiety doing this and it's with the help of my therapist, I'm starting to understand why, because I start to change. I start to change things for myself. Boom. I get this wall of anxiety that comes down and I say wall, but I'll get to that in terms of reframing it. But what happens is that wall comes down and it cuts me off and I feel cut off from the original urges or inspiration as to even why I was trying to do whatever it was I was trying to do. And then any ideas, any thoughts or feelings that like were f like fueling that desire to change or to do something or create something, boom, gone, like whatever, it wasn't there. I don't know anything. Why was I doing this? Because I don't have any ideas. I have no clue what to do. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm creating this. Why am I here? Why am I doing this? I can't do this. 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 So that's sort of what happens in my head when I'm trying to create and that wall that comes down stops me. And at first I thought it was my depression. That's not what I'm often running into in my creative process. What I'm running into is just boom, anxiety. And it often comes in the face of either fear that I'm going to fail and also fear that I'm going to succeed. In talking that out with my therapist and with myself and thinking about it, I realize that there is this defined line that's defined by my anxiety. And that line, behind that line, is my comfort zone and everything beyond that is uncomfortable. And that line is set a lot by my anxiety because I allow it to because I lay my fear then set that line for me. Let me get that there. Something that line set for me. So, you know, down here is my comfort zone. Everything beyond that area is the whole potential of my own expansion of self. Like that's where growth is, is pushing past that line of comfort into discomfort. That's where growth is, that's where change is. And where change is, that's where hope is. Within the comfort zone, it's comfortable because that's where predictability is. It's where you can predict what's gonna happen. It's where I can, I, the knowns are known. Status quo, I know what to expect from the day to day. But in, that comfort also is lurking depression. Retreating in fear and staying there because of fear, that just screams to depression that, hey, I'm here, come take me down. Because depression is stagnation. And 
oftentimes will strike those who have already stopped. And that's where I find that if I stop there too long, and that's where depression will hook me and pull me even deeper. And what sucks and what makes depression really awful in that way is that it makes your comfort zone uncomfortable. Your day-to-day, even though it's predictable, is still miserable. You have this tag team action because I feel, for me, in order for me to push out of my comfort zone, if I decide, yes, I'm going to do something different, I'm going to change myself, I'm going to change my circumstances, it means I have to cross that line. But apparently I have some kind of bargain that I have to make with my anxiety. I feel like I have to bargain with this, I guess, bouncer or this guard at the door. And the only way I can proceed is on my anxiety's terms, which can be like, I have to be in full control. I have to be able to predict the future. It is completely unreasonable, purely reactive, and totally based on fear. My anxiety is insane. And so what's happening with me on this channel is that I'm incredibly anxious. I am incredibly scared making these videos because my anxiety has these videos outside of that box. The feeling of anxiety, the panic attacks, the sympathetic nervous system activation, all of that is a part of this process right now. That's the reframing that my therapist has offered me. It means that I am moving forward not because of fear, but because I want to. I'm moving forward in spite of my fear. My anxiety is a sign that I am pushing myself in a progressive forward motion. So this is making my anxiety more important to me than something I have to stop. It's something that I might want to consider as a good thing or a helpful thing. And I'm learning to have to accept that. I welcome any thoughts on this and the idea of reframing anxiety as a sign that you're moving in a gr direction of growth and that you're pushing yourself. And you're creating change for yourself. And the idea that, yeah, anxiety might be telling you that you're doing a good job at that. Uh, please let me know what you think. I would love to know what you guys think about that since I'm still trying to be okay with that. So feel free to comment, subscribe if you haven't. I want to keep saying that. Subscribe if you haven't. And, um, yeah, I love you. <laughs> so please... Uh, have an awesome day and going to outro. That just screams to the...